there are three owners here, and I haven't asked them whether, whether it's possible to disclose who they are. Two by one entity and another by another entity, and it's not impossible to persuade them to build a clubhouse here, to build like four-story buildings here, not the full 18-story condos, but two four-story buildings here, to make it kind of square, and to have the square cross to the other side. Okay, so this is like, a, like, like, you know, this is, this is like, you know, you've been in places where a street goes like, suddenly you're in a square, you're in a square plaza. What's interesting about this is that people think that they can build the condos here, the two condos. They can't build the condos there because there's not enough parking. Okay, the parking could only happen over here where the lots were deep. Over here, you're already in the thin lot. So, the zoning might allow you to go 18 stories, but where are you going to park? So you're going to, you know where you're going to park? Across the street. Well, think about that. You, and then you're going to cross a four-laner. Remind me how that's done. <laughs> because remember, this goes with a four-laner. Don't, don't expect this to be the nice, you know. Ultimately, it's going to be a violent street. So you're going to park across run across unless you build a bridge. You see, you start getting into this valet parking, let's, you know, no, you know what, it doesn't make sense. So why don't we put low buildings here and a clubhouse, put the condos on the other side where you can actually have the parking near door, make them tall, because at that point it's guaranteed that these guys aren't going to block you. You see, the problem with building tall in the back is that there's the fear that the condo in front is going to kill your view. So who's going to do that? No one's going to do that. But here you have a guaranteed situation in which this is low, let's say four stories, with a plaza, terrific clubhouse, we'll pave it so you can actually cross it around, and you have a plaza, you have the two condos giving a lot of people, you reserve a site for a civic building, and by the way, my dream is that you secede from the county. <laughs> But only because I don't like to drive that far to get my democracy done. It's just not fair. Okay, okay, there's going to be a vote. Well, let's just spend three hours. You know, that's not the way democracy is supposed to work. It's supposed to happen locally. So you should be governed locally so that you can actually participate without it being an epic. You know, like I did, to, I went today to downtown Pensacola. It was an absolute epic. It took all afternoon for what's a 45 minute meeting. And so this is the city hall. And then you have the shops. <laughs> you have the shops, and in this case, it connects to the villaggio. Here's the villaggio again. You see the good old villaggio, and you have a loop, and you have a green inside, and you have some incubator buildings here. Village. You see, mm -hmm. and so you have actually a village center. This is a different model. This is actually a much a very clever one because it actually begins to actually enable high-rise development and so forth. And it also, oh, the other thing is that it allows access to the beach. Like how many, it means everybody here has decent access to the beach, not a parking lot somewhere or some kind of cross through with a bathroom. You know, it's, it's really, it's just, it's, it, it, for once the land in the back is valuable. Next. Okay, next. Let's see what's coming. Okay, now. <clears throat> 